Hello. I pray that you are well today. I pray God's grace is upon you. I pray for your Thanksgiving yesterday. I pray that during this time we may be seeing what God wants us to see. The other day, Pastor Dave preached a sermon, and in the sermon he talked about 2 Chronicles chapter 20, about King Jehoshaphat. When the children of Israel were up against, as it's called, a vast army. In 2 Chronicles 20, verse 15, he said, Listen, King Jehoshaphat and all who live in Judah and Jerusalem, this is what the Lord says to you. Do not be afraid or discouraged because of this vast army, for the battle is not yours, but God's. Tomorrow you will march down against them. Can you imagine this picture? There is a vast army in front of the children of Israel, and he says, Don't be afraid. Don't be discouraged. The battle is not yours, but God's. It's an interesting phrase. Can I say to you, don't be afraid. Don't be discouraged. The pandemic is not yours, but God's. God is able. God will remain with you. God will give you grace. God will give you strength. And then in this particular section, not only does he say, don't be discouraged and don't be afraid, because the battle is God's battle and not their battle. It's not your battle. He goes on to say, early in the morning they left for the desert of Tekoa. And as they set out, Jehoshaphat stood and said, Listen to me, Judah and the people of Jerusalem. Have faith in the Lord your God, and you'll be upheld. Have faith in his prophets, and you will be successful. After consulting the people, Jehoshaphat appointed men to sing to the Lord, and to praise him for the splendor of his holiness, as they went out at the head of the army, saying, Give thanks to the Lord, for his love endures forever. What an interesting circumstance. The battle is not yours and not mine. It is God's. And at the heart, at the head, excuse me, of the battle lines, there were those who were singing praise to God. Give thanks to the Lord, for his love endures forever. What an interesting, what a phenomenal, what a miraculous thing. The children of Israel were delivered. And God told them, in the midst of it, it's not your battle. So can I say to you what was said to the children of Israel so long, long ago? Don't be discouraged. Who takes your courage away from you? What takes your courage away from you? One more thing. One thing that you can't take control of or understand or know why? What makes you afraid? Are you fearful because of limits? Are you fearful because of the unexpected? And when the language is used, it's not your battle, but it's God's. It often feels like our battle, doesn't it? It often feels like the weight of it is on us, but God says the weight of it is on me. And in the midst of the battle, in the midst of the battle, give praise to God especially these words, give thanks to the Lord for his love endures forever. Five words, each stanza, if you will, 10 words total. Give thanks to the Lord for his love endures forever. Just 10 words. I encourage you that whatever battle you're facing now in the day after Thanksgiving, give thanks to the Lord for his love endures forever. God's love will not leave you. God's love will not run out. God's love is wider and higher and deeper and longer. It is his battle, not yours. Please pray with me. Lord God, for each of the individual battles that we wage, whether the battle is in our mind, in our heart, in our soul, in our life, we give it to you for the battle is yours and not ours. The battle belongs to you. May we not be discouraged or afraid, but may we give thanks to you for your love endures forever. In Jesus' name, amen. May God bless you today. May God bless you in this time of refreshment, May God grant you his grace and his strength for the battle is the Lord's. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good, for his love endures forever. God's grace.